So hear me out. You have this situation. You have a test, which is pretty straightforward. It's written in Cypress. And this test worked yesterday perfectly. Perfectly. And for some reason, it's not working today. How do you check what's wrong? Well, I'm going to show you two possibilities that will help you investigate or like it says here in the description, debug or stop in the test <clears throat> and help you know or help you find out what's wrong with the test or why the test is failing. The test itself is pretty straightforward. It goes to this uh, page right here. Uh, it fills information in this form, submits the form, and then checks if a um, successful message is present on the page. So the data that we're entering is kind of strange, but okay. I mean, we're entering my name, my email, my phone, no subject. And we're entering a description which says this is for my YouTube channel, like or subscribe. And in that note, if you want, you can like and subscribe. So let's not stop anymore and see what's wrong with this test or why, or if this test is still passing. So let me open Cypress. <clears throat> and I can start it. And we see the magic. It's going, it's going, it's going. Okay. Something is wrong here. And we see, okay, um, it actually failed. I mean, it didn't go to our it didn't go to our page. This is bad. I mean, it didn't, it's like it didn't submit the form. Hmm. Okay, so what can you do in such a situation? Of course, you can run the test manually, but sometimes it is tedious to do this. And one option which you can use is a command called debug. So <clears throat> since I'm pretty sure we entered all the information, Let's try to debug at this point here. So in order to debug, you have to link this debug command to um, a specific Cypress action. So let's link the debug to this click. And now we want to run it again. OK. Still fails. The thing which I want to see is if we go to the console, yeah, we have now debug information. See, we we clicked, we, we, we see that we did the click on uh, the element. Unfortunately, this doesn't really help me a lot at this point in time. Okay, but there is another trick which we can do, and that is we can actually stop the test from running or pause it if you want. So for that, we do not need to link any link to a specific Cypress action. We can just say ci dot pause. And what will this do? Well, it will run the test until the pause, and then it will stop. Oops. Okay, let's run the test again. We stop it and then we run it. And now you see the test is paused. So if I now go into the time machine of Cyprus, I see that I have a couple of errors here. So, okay, my email is not correct and a specific field has to be a little bit bigger. Um, I know for a fact that um, that's the phone number. So let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> and if I would submit it now, then I would see the confirmation message. I can just click on resume and then our test would pass. But now we know. So we, we were able to stop the test investigate exactly what's happening and the good thing is when you stop the test you also have access to the network 
and to the console. Well, there you have it. These were two ways of finding out why your Cypress test is failing. As always, thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, and bye-bye.